right now then you're in the right place hey like and subscribe um it's funny how thoughts will leave your ass huh that's why you gotta write them good ideas down when you get them somewhere put them in your little digital shit if that's your thing i don't really want you know Potentially, everybody will know you know, I'm making all these videos. Talking about I don't want everybody to know my business, but, you know, my notes, shit that I just jot down, my little side thoughts. Like, now, now you're trying to know everything about me, all the little nuances and things. You know, come on, man. I think that's just a little too far, potentially potentially nobody's looking at it at all they sure can't watch everybody but they could collect the data and mm, what could they do with that well i don't know everything could always be used someday as well as good pretty much anything the car could transport your places or you could plow into a crowd of people you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong, and when you're right, you're right. Kind of in a similar way, but sometimes it's people's perception and how. To, well, their perception basically. I can break that further down, but you know, they could think that you're wrong. And you're right. And think that you're right. And you're wrong. And some people say there is no right or wrong. But I don't buy that. There is absolutely right or wrong. The thing is, they may have to exist both in the world and have a balance of right and wrong, a yin and a yang. I think it's, I guess I see what they're, where they're going with it, in a way, in a manner of speaking. But no, there's right, it's, it's, it's not wrong to take a life, it's not wrong to cause harm to someone else, or to kick a, kick a fucking dog or something. Yeah, that's wrong. It's not right. It has to be wrong. <laughs> What it is left, you know, that is not a good thing. That's not nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's nice? There is no nice. There is nothing. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely positive and there's negative in this world. You know? When you're right, you're right. And when you're wrong, you're wrong. And when you're right, man. Standing your ground sometimes looks ugly, 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 ugly. And I'm not talking about no standing your ground with no um, law. I'm talking about standing your ground for your beliefs, what you believe in, your values, your integrity who the hell you are as a person in this world. You got to be know and be true to that. You can't fall for no okie dokes because people is playing games out here, especially the ones that's, you know, or anybody, but they're younger than you or older than you. But I, it's hard to call, you know, like I'm speaking in particular about a particular person and so those type of people it's more than just that one person they're younger than you and you know they think they got it all figured out and at their position with you it might be your child it might be uh, I don't know someone else that's a child your nephew or, or some shit I don't know you know it's going to be an adolescent, like someone younger than you. And they're just in a position where you're in charge of them 
or whatever. You could be a teacher. And they think they know more than you. And they think they got it figured out. And they're going to put you in a bad position. Where you got to figure out who you are. Stand your ground. Knowing you know you love them or whatever. And you know you don't want it to, to you can't hold a hand forever. You can't walk the walk for them. Everybody's not gonna make it in life. And and it don't mean that just cause they're on a bad way and a bad path and a bad patch in, in life, however long that lasts, or short that lasts, it doesn't mean that it's gonna end up bad. It it definitely means it's their journey. But it's absolutely that. You know. Sometimes all of those things, I mean, it's tricky. Karma. Karma is not, it's like the life that happens for us and not to us. That's karma. Bad things happen, and you're supposed to learn lessons from them. They're not happening to punish you. So, um, with that said, even if son or this person, <laughs> even that son crack up and I have another suicidal child. That's not my path, that's their path. It's their, that's his life, it's her life. I don't get to choose as bad as, as, bad as I want to. And we have enough time choosing and making decisions for ourselves, and not taking ourselves out. What I do know is, once again, I ain't gonna let them children have me killing myself or be killed. Be killed trying to pursue some hopeless shit that ain't gonna never be with their mama, with the baby mama drama. Pursuing that. And, and you know, like, fight me for these kids. That sound like some stupid shit. That's ridiculous. You need to, and then, you know, over and over and over and over again. And, 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 and had the time not even realizing myself, you know, what exactly is going on here. Man, it's years before I, I ever come to grips with, what, what, what am I fighting? Who am I fighting? Why am I fighting? Well, you know, in a way, yeah, I asked some of those questions, but not all of them, and not seriously enough. Because the fight's on. In the middle of getting my ass kicked, ain't, it's hard to really, you know, uh, 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 uh. I'm just ducking blows. <laughs> ducking blows is what I'm doing. She. <clears throat> so, hey, some of this may, it, it, if you're catching the uncut version of this, and, well, I guess never mind. Forget it. But back to the, to the thing. These people, a woman, basically, because who's a man? A man, I'm a man. Who's a man, uh, you know, supposed to have charge of his family and his children, his wife and his children, his family. Wife's supposed to follow. Man's supposed to lead. Shit, I think then then any, any religion and culture in the world, man, you know, it's it's a structure. It's a structure to it. Even if it was gonna go the other way, it need to be structurally sound. Shit, I I could go with that. For you want to lead, lead. But it don't never work out that way because it's not supposed to work out that way, I, I suppose. Um, you know, that's going to be a control. A, a, a woman doing that is a controlling woman. I, I, I know I have a, a mama that's like that. And shit, I feel for pops. That's all I say. But I think he's playing it to the best that he could play it, I'd give you that much. He getting what he could get out of it. I don't know if he is 
as senile and as, as he, you know, making out to be. They, they make you wonder, but I, I think he is because there's a similarity between people with that, you know, like the way they talk and ask questions and, you know, because they be forgetting shit. It's just a certain cadence to it. They all have it, whoever they are. I've seen it. And he got that. He ain't, you can't fake that. But, you know, so I'm going to have to get there sooner or later, soon. Because, shoot, no one's promised tomorrow. My pops is 88 years old, man. But he probably ain't, it, it's, it's those kind of things. Man, the whole life thing. I don't, it, you know, it's hard to decipher what's for them and what's for you. Because before he go, I want him to know. I want to see him just to at least, you know, because it might be a long time. Anyway, fuck, you know, the way it's going, I may never see him again until, you know, Going to the upper room, you know. But I feel bad because they think they got it figured out and they ain't got shit figured out. You know, my, my situation. My situation is, is, as far as I know, is very unique. I don't know anyone else in it. I don't, you know, personally. Or not personally. I'm sure there are people, but I don't know any at all. So, well, here I am. Shit, is somebody else say something? Somebody that was a, more or less a single parent. You know, there was there was a duration of time I was back and forth trying to make it work with my son's mother, but more or less just a single parent for the whole duration of time. And then when you, um, once, once they go, once it's over, over, and they leave, and you got the child, and I don't, you know, like I say, it's a, it's a human being. He's a human being. He's a, he's a person. So it, it's some of it's his business. So I don't feel like I have a right to put all this shit out there because, you know, because of that. But nevertheless, we got to realize everybody have feelings and things. Yeah. Um, they just don't know everything. Let's just say, I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm caught. I'm gonna have to edit this like a mug. I'm, I'm, I'm caught up because of, like I said, the business. This is obviously a freestyle. I have no script. Going off the top of the dome. What am I doing and what's my purpose, man? Look, to help motivate enlighten it's about the money making and the entrepreneuring and the hustling and all that but you gotta have your mind right you gotta have your body right as much as possible shit i thought my back hurt and shit i thought i wouldn't even be able to walk no more than but around the block but i'm getting a little bit farther than that but anyway i digress man look you gotta do what you can to keep yourself together your mind your body you got to have all that shit to operate right. You could get all the money, and then when you lose all the money, right, right, right. So my thing is, if you if you in the um in the business, say it now, if you in the business, you in the Airbnb business, and you know, I think with everything, maybe it has slow times. Man, ain't nobody that fucking helpful. Everybody trying to sell their systems and shit, you know, for the for the down times and slow times. Cause, it, man, especially let me stick to one thing at a time. But you got these Airbnbs arbitration, so you doing that? You got these apartments, and well, how many can you manage properly? How many can you manage well and they be clean well and everything? That's why they're saying they got a lot of horrible hosts on here. And, and well, and that's where the people that can, can have the ability, that can do it a better way correctly, 
a, a more correct way, well, we can rack up. That's what it is. That's who can get the funds. Who can keep the thing going, you know? Who can get the money. That's who it's there for. Because it's no, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. You got three, four, five, ten, twenty Airbnbs or some shit like that. I don't think you can manage five effectively. Personally, not to mention, once it gets slow, and it is slow right now, once some unforeseen shit happens and you put all them eggs in that one basket, and it's it's like so many things. It's good when it's good, but when the bottom fall out that shit and everything that you made you end up losing. You end up owing people. You will end up in uh, lease obligations and things. And them people ain't letting that shit slide. They want their money. So you end up in all that. Then what? That's that's sort of my point with, with it all. Then what? Because it's to me. If you got a team, a team, well, that's a different story because the team, it's teamwork. You got people working with you and they can help you do all those things. Make sure that the place is clean. Make sure that, you know, all that. You got to make sure that the place is clean, that nobody tearing the place up, that your stuff, uh, you know, like little things, man, little detail things. I don't want to get into every detail, but somebody got to handle those details. You know, right. Once you get a system in place, well, you just duplicate that. True enough. But you got to have somebody to do it, and it's got to be worth the while. So you're going to find somebody, you know, work dirt cheap. You're going to be paying top dollar, you know, Man, you you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much to it. I need a I need a chalkboard, um, or whatever. But you you if you you got to spend money to furnish this place. They be making like it's so easy to do, and so cheap to do, you know. And it's really not. They they when they telling you things, they're selling you on their fucking pipe dream. They leave a lot of things out. Especially, you you gonna you gonna rent the place. That's the first and last, the first and the deposit at at minimum. It's a it's and well you know all you need is this and this and this and this. Man, they oversimplifying that shit. It take more than that to fucking move, and every, everybody should know it. Especially nowadays, shit going up, not down. So it's gonna take more money to get it, more money to keep it. Lights have deposits. It ain't just no light bill, two hundred dollar for utilities. What about the cable? If you're gonna have that, what about the internet? If you're gonna have that, what about your 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 um power locks? You know what I mean? Your your keyless entry with the code. How much that shit costs? Minimum. For something that's that's decent, if you want something that connect to the web, that's more money. What about your security? Are you gonna have security? A security system, cameras. How much that cost? You're gonna have monitoring. You know, sheets, the bedding, the the, the towels. What about that? That's not free. Double sets, double money. It's more convenient, easier, definitely. In the long run, will it last longer than that? Not technically, no. In a way, yeah, because you're using two, but no, it's going to last the same amount of time. But you understand what I'm saying, man. Like, motherfuckers is misleading people and leading people astray. And... 
I blow my money. You know, ain't nothing wrong with spending your money on some worthwhile shit. But some of this shit is fucking just trash. And people taking your money. I've been tempted to spend some money on some systems, but, you know, some programs. But I don't care who program they on. Everybody trying to promote this shit, man. You don't know what's what. Just because they figure out a way to make it work for themselves don't mean that it'll work for you. Don't mean that they'll share that what'll work with you. It, it just don't mean a lot of things. No matter how nice whatever this person seems, you know. You don't know how much is real and how much is scam. And if any of it's scam, well, how much? Potentially all of it. As far as I'm concerned. Because you're coming with that misleading ass shit, man. It's misleading the people, man. I'm telling I'm saying that's that's real, real, real talk. It's much more than that. These deposits and, and shit. Every all that shit have a deposit. And you might fuck around. You could you could I ain't gonna say luck up, but you know, if all you got electricity, well, all you got is electricity deposit, but you're gonna have to pay that shit. As far as I know. Unless you own some some of that I, well, what I call rinky-dink shit. I think they got some ways out here in Texas. They got all kind of providers. But it all end up being the same. I wouldn't do that. Just keep it with reputable people. Where, I don't know. To me, to me. That that, that may just be a matter of opinion. I don't, I don't know how, how great of a factor that is in anything. Or not, you know. But I'm saying they scamming, they scamming. All right, man. They scamming, they scamming, they scamming. Watch yourself. Protect yourself. Dead serious, you know. That's part of watching your back, man. It ain't just the ones that's calling on the phone. They 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 all over the place. People that's trying to get in your pockets and not give you the quality of service that they, they claim to be uh, giving you. Because it sounds too good to be true. It's That shit is pie in the sky, man. And I really want to, and I don't hear none of them talking right now neither. Tell you the truth, like, man, they must be shaking in their boots. Because... Man, the same with the cars. When you got all those cars and all that credit, well, when it come time and that shit dry up and all the motherfuckers just sitting there for two weeks and three weeks and shit, and the money got to come all out your pocket, or nearly all out your pocket, because it been it done hit me several times. Although I'm just starting out and all I got is one car and understand it's going to only be a particular type of demand for that one car that I got, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That, that, that makes sense. It's, it's a luxury car, luxury type car, whatever. Some people, you know, high and mighties don't even consider that luxury because it ain't a, a million dollar car, I guess, or whatever. But, you know, I think they're just people being asses. Depend on who you talk to. Most gonna say it is. Fucking Alpha Romero, uh, Julia, you know. But anyhow, when the people want that money, then what? Once again, I would love to know what they're doing. Cause if I, I, I have, uh, I should labor this, but I, I happen to be fortunate enough to have a house, to have a home, and I'm uh, 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 cohabitating with the people in my house and and or and or I'll get another one house a trailer or whatever how you doing and I'll be able to rent the whole thing out or rent you know each room out however I would do it I still it would end up being the whole house so nevertheless it's not a arbitration route it's mine I don't have to talk to the landlord I am the landlord now the only thing I might be sneaking past because I'm there 
I might be sneaking past the homeowners association easier. I'm, I would do it anyway. I'm not, I ain't going to tell them. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I ain't going to tell them if I leave and do it. But if I leave and do it, that might change everything because I'm not there and the neighbors are still there and the neighbors are the neighbors. You know, they have their opinions and their attitudes. And with me being there, I'm in control. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's what I'm talking about too. Like with me actually being on the premises, if you have, you, you have to have co-hosts or somebody working with you and that costs money. So I like to know how they would be able to make money with paying for cleaners, paying for somebody to manage the property, which would be the co-host or a uh, some other type of management. And you still got to pay those bills, those basic bills. They're basic. Once you once you get your furniture, once you get your linen, but you have. Uh, People come and ruin stuff. They're, what if they break something? They break your linen. Yeah, true enough, you get reimbursed for it, but you need to get it right back, right then and there. You know, like I've had sheets, pillowcases. I, I, you know, you you file your dispute, but disputes not resolve instantaneously. Even if it's fast, it's a process. You have to, you know, if you got other guests coming. Within X amount of time, you can have to resolve that. I had to get a uh, mattress clean, different things. So when everything's all good, it's good. When it's a problem, it's a problem. I know that. So, and it's it's a random thing. It's sometimes it's good and it's problems. It's, it's every so many good rentals, which none of them may be, you know, some, some, you know, different levels of good, ever so many good rentals, and then you end up with a bad one, and there's different levels of bad, different things that uh, these people do, and I can't see it being any different for Airbnb hosts with the uh, renting an apartments or using peop other people's houses or something. But my main, one of my main thing is the danger of overextending yourself in that one area of thing. That's a high risk, that's a high risk move to make, especially also what I'm talking about. If you're paying those people for all those different services, well, they got to get paid. You still got to pay your co-hosts, right? They working or they working only at this work or they pay the salary. You got a management, they get a salary. Well, maybe they got a system figured out where they could be somebody at the top and they're some of the few that's getting rentals right now. That That's true. With their experience that's over mine, you know, I could, I could, I could believe that. I wonder, but I could believe that. But anyway, all I'm saying is what I know as, a, as an entrepreneur or businessman, sometimes you can start out strong and that shit can eat all your shit up. Like my, you know, like in particular, like getting a divorce did for me. It just ruined everything. It took everything. And it does that shit for a lot of people. And I ain't had no big fortune either, don't get me wrong. But I had enough to where it was a nice loss and a, and a, and a giant setback. You know, so well that that type of thing, you know, that's a whole nother story. That's not um that wipes anybody out. No matter what they're doing, no matter their fortune, it it can wipe you out or do considerable damage. You know, like real damage. Half <laughs> you got a, a real fortune, they take half your shit. You got that much. Whatever level or not that much is, meaning not a fortune where they could take all your shit. Then you get half, it just kind of ruin you. Just destroy you, take half your money, put you on child support, this, that, the other, you know. They just find other ways to get half. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but this is a business investment that I'm speaking on. And man, it's like the stocks, you know. The more you have in it, one thing, the more risk. Because it's only one thing. If that one thing fall, well, and then the whole stock market, you know, thing like that, the whole stock market could crash. Like I think happened recently. I don't know where it's at now, but I'm, I'm just saying. Putting that shit out there. That's that's a that's a to me, it's a recipe for disaster. Cause if it slow down and then you can't pay those people unless they're on a as needed basis or some shit like that. But if you got them on just on on, but the cleaners are on a schedule as needed. They're on some type of schedule, but it's definitely at, you know, I need you. You, you put them on as you get them. And if you got them lined up way out, well, I guess you could line them up way out. But still, never, I don't know why I'm saying all that. It, it, it's an as needed basis. So, yeah. But, you know, um, still, I'm saying, they ain't. It just seems like a bad recipe. Them damn bills be locking up. How how much uh, money you able to put on the side to be able to pay them rents if ain't nobody booking. And the utilities if ain't nobody booking. How much can you actually handle and how long can you handle it? I, I, I'm I'm building up myself. Maybe I'm just a bad manager. I'm, I guess I'll find out sooner or later. I'm still recouping on my initial investments, man. Well, it's a house. It's a house. I had to, you know, um, I will say this. Yeah, true enough. Um, although it's more piecemeal, you know, like small portions. But, yeah. If it was just getting an apartment, putting the furniture in it, it would have been cheaper because I'm making changes, changes, lights, um, wiring, buying TVs. Well, you had to buy the TVs in there. That's the furniture part. But um, there's some, you know, a, a good portion of things that I'm doing sinks and things you know all you know all that kind 